down the flow drive I want a big long Buick with that down the flow drive Hey YouTube, Shea Bear 1000 here, Pooh's behind the camera. Hi guys. And we got Cheyenne over here, say hi Cheyenne. Hi. Alright, today what we're going to be doing, I'm not going to show this from start to finish, it's going to take too damn long, but I, this is a how-to video. This is what we're going to be doing. Pooh Bear's birthday present. You don't have to zoom in on that. We've got CD player, DVD player. She can watch movies while she's driving down the road and killing people. So I wouldn't do that. But, no, you don't need this to drive down the road and kill people. This is what we're going to do. We're going to install this. Bought it for back in October. So, this is what we're doing. We're going to install this. But the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to get this dash apart. That's going to be a pain in the ass. But, anyhow, so we'll get back with you here in just a minute. What we're going to do first is open up this glove box. Inside this glove box, there's a screw right here and a screw right here. Now that don't actually hold the whole glove box in. I'll show you what it does. Take this screw out. Actually, hey Cheyenne, can yeah. you give me that drill please? Yep. I want to take all these screws in here. Oops, sorry. We're going to cheat a little bit here. bit screwed up but I like it because it's long okay now that's loose what that does is hold this piece in now I'm gonna close that for a second here what we're gonna do is we're gonna start right over here and get your fingers up underneath this right here and pull out that was already loose because we had this out the other day checking things out and, and these will just pop out, but you got to be careful because these things they get old after time and it's plastic You know the heat and cold as you can see these will pop up out of here Like that just be be kind of ginger with it And that will come out just like that okay, so Put that up in the back window, please show you Now right here we have a uh, hex head bolt, which I've got something for that right here. Now they make a tool for this. I don't have one, so we gotta do it the old fashioned way. you have to do now there's a plug over here see that is right here you push that 
That'll unlock it. You unplug that. There's that. Got the deck park for now. Gotta leave these keys in here because this is a this is a theft system. If you don't, I found out the other night when I pulled this out. I didn't have the key in the ignition, lock the doors, I couldn't unlock it with a power button. Now this is what it takes to get a factory stereo out of uh, these Buick Sabres, I don't know, like 99 or 2000 to 03 or something like that. I'm not positive, but somewhere right in there. If your vehicle looks like this, it'll probably be about the same. This is doubled in is what this is called. Single den is the real skinny stereos. The double den is the real wide ones. So you just take these clips, push them in, and pull that out. Now you lose your chimes. And there's that. Now up inside here, there's, this is ribbon style connector. Now what we're going to have to do is cut some of this stuff out. There's the antenna for the antenna for the radio. We're going to have to cut this out so our new stereo will go back in because this sticks out and the stereo will stick out too far than the new one. So I'm going to have to cut some of this out. In the meantime, i got to pull this dash out. Now in order to do that, I've got to pop this up out. This will come out and then unplug the... the light sensor for the headlight dimmers and once this comes out there'll be some screws down inside here that holds this dash pad on that's what we're going to take out so I'm going to get that out and I'll be back with you here in a minute hey YouTube this is what my Buick looks like all part all the stuff console stuff is off of there and Shea Bear is starting the next process of putting in my stereo just thought you might want to get a quick look at it. Now, you know, I don't recommend doing this without mm. unhooking the battery. But for this uh, video, this how-to, for the sake of this video, the battery on these Buicks are underneath this, the back seat, which that's where Pooh Bear is sitting. I didn't want her sitting on the battery, but uh, I've done a million of these, so... I'm not going to have any exposed bare wires that i got to worry about short now. But remember, anytime you do something like this, please unhook the battery. Okay, YouTube, Shea Bear 1000 here. Now, I've got the... I'm trying to scoot the seat back here. Okay, I've got... Oh, shit. The uh, stereo in. I've got the face plates back on. I still got a got underneath here. Now, there's a lot I didn't, excuse me, there's a lot I didn't record. Um, see, I had to trim this out. Let me get in on that real tight. But I've got a face plate that will go on this and cover that up. But I've got some more trimming to do for it to look nice for the face plate to go on. See, these are curved, and it's hard to get them to look nice. Now, it did fit in the hole when the stereo was out, but once I put it in, of course, it was at a different angle, just enough to where I had to trim it. But uh, once I get the faceplate on, it'll be fine. I'm not going to bore you with that stuff. Now, this is her iPod. Now, I just drilled a hole through the back of her little drawer there to put this in. It's got... Our screws and stuff for the dash. Uh, I like this little thing. The only thing is you can't, you know, see what songs it is when you got your headphones on. But once you plug it into the into the stereo, it you you will see it. Now, uh, let me see what else. I had to cut the back out a little bit. Uh, I just used a knife because I don't have a Dremel tool, and uh, so I just used a, a razor knife right here it took a little bit but but it worked um, so I've, I've still got to put underneath there that face plate on for you know it's like a kick panel 
underneath the steering wheel. Now I ran out of time last night, that's why I didn't record a whole lot because it's pretty much self-explanatory other than that cutting. Uh, you do on these Buicks have to cut a little bit. Now it, it doesn't really bother the structure of the dash, you know, there's your airbag. Of, whoa, what the hell? Sorry about that. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. But it doesn't it doesn't bother the structure. This is all plastic anyway. But as you can see, it's I mean I'm really pulling on that. It's strong. Uh, now if you see smoke, I'm smoking cigarettes, so don't be alarmed. The car's on fire. But anyway, uh, I, I was going to uh, uh, videotape more for you, but I was kind of running out of daylight. I was out here kind of late after dark, and I took a break and watched a movie with the girls. But what? What I want to tell you is these Buicks now up here, you know, when you get your, that's a lock and dock system or dock and lock system. Now, I, you know, I have the uh, schematics and for the, the part I bought for it, for the plug, for the wiring harness. Now this is for the, let me get up on it, is, is the car, is the wiring harness for the car from General Motors. Now as you can see there, switched 12 volt ignition, okay, yellow wire, bullshit. Now how the other, the original stereo was working, I don't know, but uh, there was no, there's, there is one switched wire up there, it is not yellow, but it only is switched in the run position on the ignition so I looked everywhere to try to find a switched uh, to where it was switched in the run and accessory position and the only thing I could find was for the wipers uh, because you know when you're parked and you you don't have your car running you want to listen to some music you, you turn you know the ignition back to accessory well the stereo wouldn't work so I had to come over here and down under there and right in there oops sorry smoke right in there I had to tie into the windshield wipers because they will work in both the run and accessory position so now what I didn't get to show you is these uh so these pillars the covers they have to come off in order to get that dash out I'm getting ready to put the dash back in uh, the dash pad up here now I showed you pretty much how to get that out. Now up there, as you can see, there's a couple little holes right there. And there's a couple over here and one over there. Now those just, once you get this panel off I was showing you, uh, them holes down in there, they'll go in like this. And that's what holds this dash in. Then there's a couple clips up here on top. Uh, this is for the alarm and keyless entry. Um, and like right here, a clip will come down in, you push that pad in. Make sure you have it lined up real good and be very careful. I'm just sitting here waiting on the car to warm up because I got some plastic pieces in here I don't want to get broke. Um, so that's it. Uh, other than the camera, uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's a wire up here I got to run to the reverse light so that it kicks the camera on as soon as you put it in reverse. Damn, I zoomed in again. Uh, and then, of course, a power wire and your ground and your video. Uh, for your video, your uh, what is that, CA cable? Um, and there's my power. So, the power wire, oh, what I want to tell you was I'm going to hook it up to the reverse lights. So that way when I put it in reverse, it will kick this right automatically into the camera mode. And this, it, when the reverse lights come on, it, it will put power to the uh, camera and kick the camera on. So I don't, you know, she don't have to, uh, you know, fumble with that and turn the camera on stuff she just puts it in reverse the camera will automatically kick on and that is uh, these are infrared lights so they are it, it is night vision I, I, I checked it out and tried it 
so it is night vision so <laughs> maybe we can ghost hunt with it back and up down back and down the street so but this stereo we was wanting an update an upgrade for the stereo so what it was was I really wanted since we're on street parking now I really wanted to get her a backup camera she does poor thing poo she has trouble backing up and uh, so I was looking online and the cheapest real good camera and monitor um, that I found was like 150 bucks well I gave 144 for that with the camera so I was like and plus this has you can see all the functions it's got USB it's got TV of course I'll have to get an antenna if we want to watch TV it's Bluetooth compatible um, it's got an SD card memory card iPod auxiliary you know radio it, it does all kinds of stuff it is remote control as well so um, uh, and it does also a DVD player so like sometimes when uh, we go on our journeys which uh, I'm gonna get the headrests that have the monitors in them the girls can sit back and uh, we can put a movie in for them they can watch uh, watch a movie or something kind of kind of kill time or you never know so uh, you know for $144 um, now I had to, I did have to get an in, antenna uh, adapter for it and uh, of course the uh, the wiring harness to go to the ribbon style harness on this car so that's about all I can show you right now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together because we gotta get the little one home here shortly so I'm gonna go ahead and at least get the dash put back together now I don't know if I'm gonna video I'm, I, I don't know if I'm going to get any footage of that camera because it's self-explanatory. All cars are different. You can put it anywhere you want. You know, your backup cam. So, But like I said, it is so self-explanatory. Your, your cable, which I've already got on. Shit. Right here. You know, it, it, it goes in the back of the stereo. You know, it'll say camera right on it. You pop the end in. Here's your end that's going to come out to to your camera. So wherever you mount your camera, make sure you know if this is if this is outside. I would I would put some black tape around there, or electrical tape, whatever. You know, that's me. And here too, especially this is your power wire. Like I said, um, you know, you got your ground which is the black wire it'll go to your chassis ground somewhere on the body metal clean it up real good put it on and uh, your red wire that that's you know like I said for hook that up to your reverse lights that way you don't have to switch it flip a switch or you know come up in here and hit camera you know that way you don't have to do that um, once you put this thing in reverse that camera will automatically kick on and, and you're good to go and when you put it in park or drive or any other gear you know it'll go back to your your music so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off of here and uh, sorry I couldn't record more for you and uh, we've got a new subscriber she's wanting to see some more uh, abandoned videos and uh, we're gonna try to get to that as soon as we can but uh, we've been doing a lot of work on the house and uh, you know, so my when I do get a weekend off, I work on the house, or you know, I really want to do this for her. It was like I said, it was for her birthday, and and so uh, she was kind of wanting an upgraded stereo because you know our old stereo down there on the floor, it was just uh, it, it worked fine, but it was a cassette player and CD player. So in order to play our MP3 player, we had to have this thing. Or we had to have CDs. Well, you know, CDs are all right and stuff still, but I'd rather have the MP3 players, you know, any day. So listen, I'm gonna get off of here and uh, and get this at least get the dash back in here and get it buttoned up, and uh, maybe we'll take a little cruise later. And if we find anything, any houses or something, we'll upload something for you. If not. This will be on our how-to. Uh, check that out for guys that like to do things themselves. I, I just started an, uh, a, another playlist, uh, how to 
um, it's you know autos tips and tricks so you know, I've been a mechanic for like 35 years started when I was 10 years old my dad's junk yard so 45 now I'll be 46 so uh, keep an eye on that for you do-it-yourselfers and uh, when I get time to videotape some of the house stuff we'll do that too for the do-it-yourself homeowner things you know stuff we can do our, ourselves where we don't have to spend an arm and a leg to do that. oh another thing too I kind of I had to go to the neighbors and get a jump because a headlight switch there will stick on well so we just leave it off and you know you can adjust your twilight here and the headlights will automatically come on when it gets dark um, so what happened was uh, that was on I had bumped the switch on and well since the key was on the headlights would not go out now even though they're turned on they will go out after 30 seconds or so whatever I got the timer set at and well of course as long as the keys on the headlights didn't go out so that thing when I did get it hooked up it would play for a second and then shut off and I'm like what the hell and then I noticed the window started going down real slow and stopped I was like oh crap I ran the stinking battery down so uh, I had to get a jump from the neighbor. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. But listen, I'm going to get off of here. And, uh, you know, you guys, have a good one. And we'll see you as soon as we can. Thanks for all you guys that comment, rate, and, and subscribe. You know, you subscribe to us, we'll subscribe back. So, uh, hey, have a good one. I'm Shea Bear, and I'm gone.